Hey everyone, it's me from the place like today. We are going I am okay not we are um I am actually gonna go and show you dude some uh features about Windows 10 that could actually help your in your daily life. And then the first thing which I want to tell y'all is to use this is the application here, it's like an analogic this defrag. Um right this application Windows itself has it already, something like it, you can press Windows and E or you can just go down here into your file manager thingy thing, no file explorer thingy thing thing, then you just hit on that, then you can go to your this PC, then you go to your okay, you you for your computer hard drive you usually see this sign and for any other ex external drive like your portable hard drive you still see this type of signs, okay? So what you want to do is to right click this and go to properties. Once you have done Went to properties, hit on tools. After clicking on tools, you want to go to. You can either check this drive for errors to prevent the hard drive crashing, which I wouldn't recommend you running all the time because this sometimes uh, stresses up your hard drive and it reads and shortens the lifespan. But let's do it every now and then if you want to, like once a month. Optimize in this defragment, this defragment drive. This now help you uh, optimize the drive better and what am I I'll rec own same, I'll recommend you only doing it once a month. So moving on, we also have this what what okay, okay everybody will know this. Clear your recycling bin because it's always full of random garbage. Always clear the recycling bin. You can tell up here that's being that it's full but if, if like I put stuff random garbage in there you'll see up there. Then so another thing to improve performance is actually to download this a driver. Like let's say this type of drivers like for me I'm using AMD which okay on my opinion is bad because I must download a driver in order for HDMI to work full screen. That's a that's a massive issue. So yeah you can go to a driver like go to your 3D I wouldn't recommend you messing up too much stuff over here. Like pushing, okay. For AM, people who use AMD, do not use AMD overdrive. You would just overclock this thing until your whole system would just crash with like random errors, which I had many times before. But I seriously hate and just like cause I lost a lot of my recording in it. What you can do is go to video, go to quality, they can adjust like automatic settings. There's a, uh, what? I don't even know what this is. I don't even try this. What is this garbage? Whatever. You can just mess around and okay, you'll be like wondering, can I play this? But I don't even know what sort of graphics card it is used. Uh, it's used by your computer. Basically, you can just go to the internet. Oh, I was just watching Captain Sparkles. Burp. Um, you can go to the internet and just search out like um N D V R N E N I oh it's N I D V I A N D V R. I don't know. I suck at spelling on this. N D V R. How do I spell it? N in the Nike, I don't Nike and the and and the V I A and the V R. I know V R is correct. There I go like this. Like you can hit this, then you get you will get like drivers. Download and the V R drivers. They can just search. Um, another type of common graphics card is A M D. So you can just search A M D right here. A M D drivers and global graphics thing then you just hit on AMD and then you can find like this you should be able to find drivers and support you can just select on this and I think I should update my drivers I think I really should because this driver is crashing all the time now every now and then sometimes it does not automatically download the um, driver so you might need to download the driver yourself and yeah that's about it so what you want to do is hit in software downloading features minimum setup i don't understand this or whatever this one looks better so yeah just said just download then let me think what other things do we need to do to speed up our system and some trick tips and tricks oh yeah same here okay It'll be one, like, sometimes your computer starts up extremely slow, it takes like 4 years to start up, just kidding, it's not quite 4 years. What you need to do, just go over here, right click your taskbar, then hit task manager, 
This is only in Windows 10. I'm not too sure if it's in Windows 8 because I have not played with Windows 8 yet. Then you see up here, just tap startup, you can like disable, you see? What you want to do is just click up here and you can see startup impact, you can see like, oh this is like, it affects my computer so I can just like disable that. Then click, oh no, 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 there you go, that's enabled, uh, disabled, so now like your startup impact is less, so that means the, bio, the startup time here is going to decrease. That's if it really uses a lot of um, stuff, stuff, yeah, stuff. Okay. Next up on my list is, oh gosh, I'm gonna drop my phone, I love it, right? I love it how you just drop your phone on the floor and break down the screen. Okay, this is a trick I found out. If you just hit the Windows key, or just go down here and hit this, you can actually like arrange this signs, like I can put this Microsoft Word here, and move it up. Yo, nope, not there. You can put it everywhere, actually. It's not bad. And then like you can, if you want to name this, like you can name this, you can put like, like that. But I didn't want to do that because now that it's messed up my whole task thing. You can even move this up and down for fun, like we. Okay, yep. Then, so just a few settings that you'll be wondering kind of place, how do you make your taskbar go down? That's very easy. Right click and hit properties, and then you can so like auto hide taskbar, lock the taskbar. If you don't lock it, this is what you could do. You ready for this? Where? Yeah, where's my taskbar now? Put it at the side of my screen. I put it this side of my screen. Let's drag and put it there. Wow, well, I hate it because when I'm like trying to pull something up playing Agario, and then I just whoop, it goes all the way up at the top of my screen. I get seriously uh, irritated with that. I just hate that. Okay, FYI, so uh, the this two this two website, the drivers download page will be in the description down below. So if you ever, if you ever need help with that, sure. Over here, so this new notifications. I can click on this to and look for like wait why is it not coming up there you go you can click on here wow what wow okay you can see if you want to okay let's say you're playing a game and you realize your pings are like over 9000 this could be the reason why go to all settings then go to your wait, wait, update and security and then you can like look at that there's a lot of um, updates and you sometimes you say you need to download the update so this when it's downloading it's going to use up your wi-fi or your landline connection so it's gonna be slow your internet connection is gonna be slow oh requires error whatever you get, get out of here um okay then you're like okay um i want to move i want to like, change my home my home screen like this you can just right click then go to display settings and then you can like change tag size you can change the orientation to be like landscape flip and apply then i got i was like uh oh uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> then you get this, and I do not know how to fix this. How can I revert? There you go. There we go. But then you'll be like, oh my gosh, my whole back thingy thing thing that disappeared. Like my orientation that disappeared. Hey, my recording software is right there. I right, do just right click, go to personalize, and then select your own color. Oh no, not slideshow. No, what? Why is it okay? Wait, where's that picture? Okay, I'm gonna have to re-download that again. Garbage. Oh wait, it's right here, is it? Choose picture. What if I do this? Oh, this is actually not so bad. Why not? Okay, I'll take that. That's how you do it. Um, so... If there's any more things, if you wanna find out more about Windows 10, leave it down in the description down below. I will still be doing another video to actually improve Minecraft, how you can improve this FPS and other sort of garbage for Minecraft and troubleshooting in minecraft so i guess i guess you got some ideas of that so i guess if you do enjoy this video thumbs up would be greatly appreciated and i guess we'll see you dudes next time goodbye